people out there, my name is Kate. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm kind of doing a twist on my four people without anxiety videos, and this is a four people without chronic pain video. Now, chronic pain is a pain that lasts anywhere from a few weeks to you could have it like the rest of your life. Endometriosis I'm going to have for the rest of my life as long as my endometrium tissue in my uterus is forming. So while I don't always experience pain from endometriosis, um, it could still, if the tissue builds up enough to cause a lot of inflammation, I could need another surgery for it. Now as in my no edit, sorry, as in my four people without anxiety videos, the first tip is to talk to the person that is experiencing this pain. Now the person you know with chronic pain may not want to share their diagnosis, they may not want to share how it affects them, but they may share what you could do to help. So if, if all they want you to do is kind of like step back and give them space, then do that because that's what they need right now. Um, if they do share um, what they are going through, then you could do some research or ask them more questions about it um, to understand more how it's affecting them, how you can help them. My next tip kind of goes along with that last one, it's, and it's be empathetic towards this person with chronic pain. Now, you have to be willing to work with them as well. So if this is a friend, that you know that has chronic pain and you know it's hard for them to leave the house right now like they're in so much pain they can't leave the house maybe their mental mind is creating the fears creating phobias of leaving the house and it's creating anxiety for them you can't be like the only way that we're gonna hang out is if we go to the mall if we go shopping that's the only way that we're gonna hang out when you know that this person can't leave their bed, can't leave their house. So just be willing to work with them. Like maybe for a few weeks, a few months, it might be FaceTime calls or Zoom calls or maybe I don't, like just meeting up at that person's house, maybe just for like an hour and talking outside or just talking on the couch. There is a, I don't know where it came from, kind of like a saying, like a little quote. Um, that says blood is thicker than water and it's kind of like an excuse to keep family in your lives um, and then the water is kind of like the friends so like you can you can stop being friends with people but you can't stop being family with people and it's it's kind of like an excuse to if they're a family member that's putting toxic thoughts into your mind they could say blood is thicker than water and it's an excuse to keep them in your life and keep those to toxic thoughts being forced in into your mind. So the saying that I created is they say that blood is thicker than water <laughs> but I pee five times a day and I bleed every month so neither is an excuse for me to keep you in my life. And everyone I say that to loves it because it's kind of like it's true like oh blood is thicker than water yeah i have periods every month <laughs> I, I lose blood every month for like a week every month i pee five times a day which is losing water and to advocate for the people that have chronic pain they don't want to be in pain they they don't want to be experiencing this pain that is affecting their everyday life that is affecting what they're able to do. Maybe they can't do something they love anymore. They don't want to be in that pain. So saying that they have pain and saying, oh, this pain is keeping me from doing this. This pain is keeping me from going outside, going to the mall, going shopping, whatever. It's not an excuse that they don't want to hang out with you. It's not, it's not an excuse that, oh, they just don't want to go to school. They don't want to go to work. It's not an excuse. They are in a lot of pain. It's not them just trying to get out of something. Now for the people out there with chronic pain that feel like they don't 
really have support. Maybe they do have like toxic people in your life. Um, know that I am here for you. I believe you. I believe that you are in pain. And I'm so sorry that you are going through that right now. I know you don't want to be in pain. And I know that you are so strong and so brave to be going through this and to be going through this pain and the toll that it puts on your mental health. I know that you are brave and you are strong and I am with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload. If you would like another video like this or another for people without anxiety video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video in April. Bye.